What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to a gameplay preview of Judge coming to the PC and Steam like mid September from 10 tons. As always, full disclosure, this copy of the game provided by the publisher. Now, this is a top down overhead dual joystick shooter, and I'm sure you've heard me say those words many, many, many times. So you might ask yourself, what sets this one apart? And generally, it is the amount of customization you have over your character. Uh, not only your gun, but also your person. So this is the gavel, uh, which I have here with uh, some heavy rockets, some reload the plasma. Uh, and uh, I also have plasma as a main uh, weapon of my bullets, etc. There are options as you progress through the game and get more medals, then you unlock more options to purchase to customize your gavel. Also, your judge themselves. Uh, right now, I have extra armor and extra health. Uh, but, you know, more money means more slots. And then, obviously, more unlockables means more uh, ways to customize this particular character. So, I just finished the first act, but I have not unlocked enough medals to get into act number two. I need 15. So, I'm going to hop back in here into the first stage and see if I can unlock more medals by rescuing the hostages, not getting hit, and destroying all enemies on either normal or hardcore. Now, normal has different things. It's hostages, loot containers, and do it all in under 20 seconds. I went on one of those. So we're gonna hop back in here into normal and see if we can't do all three of those things uh, in this game. So it is set in the same universe as Neon Chrome, a game I enjoyed a whole heck of a lot. Um, there's a hostage, and I'm dead. So I will say this game is difficult. This game is very difficult, and you need to be very uh, on point with how you play it, because uh, otherwise things go real, real rotten. Uh, 17, 18, 19, nope, didn't make it. Didn't make it that close, that close to making it through all three, but sentence executed. Um, oh no, I didn't loot all the containers, so I'm back to square one. Let's hit retry and do it again. So definitely the replayability and trying to accomplish all of the tasks the game sets in front of you uh, become very, oops, very uh, difficult as you can see. I'm going to sit here and retry this. This is just the first stage. This is just the first stage on the normal difficulty. And uh, yeah, I think it plays well. It runs well. I'm having a good time that just he shot that guy in the back. So that's going to be uh, a different way to deal with that particular guy. I think if I approach it differently, like that, and like that, uh, we're going to have better... What happened? We're going to try to make this happen. But so far, I keep shooting the damn citizens. I'm sorry. I am the law. Going to make this happen on my terms. Do it that way, and then shoot this guy this way. There we go. Now, now we're set. Uh, I just need to loot. I just need to loot everything. Where's my last bit of loot? Did I get everything? Where's the... 20 seconds. Alright, so... I can still loot, though. So, I'm looking for containers to loot. And... Oh, way over here. Way over here. I'm like, where was it? Okay, at least I managed to get medal number two on this stage. Uh, but doing all that in 20 seconds seems quite harsh. Quite harsh. But, you know, that's the challenge. And this game definitely has a bit of a steep challenge to it. So if you're looking for an, a, a challenging dual joystick, you know, bite-sized mission type, type deals, uh, this game is pretty good about that. So actually, this mod is going to be super great for me because I accidentally shot that guy like five times. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, buy that, purchase that, and definitely equip that. Now, I don't have enough to unlock a second mod on this gavel, but uh, after doing it in normal mode, let's try doing it in hardcore. So, rescue hostages, don't get hit, destroy all enemies. So, no time limit on this one. Uh, and thankfully, my, my shots now aren't going to kill the hostages on the hardcore version of this stage. So... Don't get hit is going to be the rough one here. Clearly, rocket to your face. So, running on the same engine, a lot, a lot of the same uh, 
accoutrement as Neon Chrome did, and that was a game I enjoyed uh, quite a bit, so that's cool. Uh, all about that. Um, let's confiscate that. Rescue that guy. No, confiscate. Now here's where it's gonna get tricky because he shot him before I could get a chance to shoot the guy in the face. And as soon as the hostage dies, that's kind of the end of that bit of business, which is uh, frustrating. And I hadn't gotten hit at that point, which I was doing, nope. I was doing good. I was doing good and you guys are harshing my buzz, bro. I don't appreciate my buzz being harshed. Get out of here. Get out of here. I didn't shoot, that wasn't my bullet. Let's try a different approach to this. Uh, I don't have the key for this door, but I can just do this. Like that, and like that, and now, leave citizen. Leave citizen! Alright, now if I lower these guys in this direction, uh, I've already gotten hit apparently. Uh, I missed when that happened, so whatever. Run for the exit. Don't get shot. Don't get shot, mister. Oh, off the building! Off the side of the building. Uh, there's still more guys here, so you guys can do whatever you want. I get two medals for that, which I am definitely happy about. Um, and head back to my car and be like, I am the law, because I'm the judge, I'm the law. Got my credits, got my bonus, got my money, and uh, we move on to another stage. Uh, new fire mode available, heavy laser. Fires fat segments of lasers. Very accurate. Shock Orb heals 10 hit points each time you kill a target. That sounds pretty useful. So again, one of the main conceits of this game is being able to uh, accentuate your playstyle by what mods you choose on both your gun and on your person. Now we got some bank robbers, and they need to die. So all targets, all civilians, 20 seconds. That's probably not going to happen. There are three civilians, and that sounds... Uh, pretty tough, but we'll get we'll, we'll take a, a few stabs at it here. Uh, I don't have a key for that. That's a problem. That's a problem. So, take care of this guy here. I don't need to confiscate things in this, but I do need to deal with these guys like that. Rescue, rescue. And nope, they just died. They just... Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Restart. So because these civilians run, you might want to actually, uh, Shoot the guys first and then rescue. Because if you rescue and they run to the elevator, um, then you run the risk of them getting shot. You do you do have melee, but it's on the click of, of the stick, which I, I'm not a big fan of. Um, okay, now get the key, do the rescue. We're already over 20 seconds, so I'm not on, honestly sure how in the blue hell you make that happen in 20 freaking seconds, and I just died there. So, also... Mistrial. 20 seconds. All civilians, all targets. That's insane. Alright, so Riot on the Streets is take out the leader, loot all the containers, and complete in under 25 seconds. So that's going to be uh, the replayability here is definitely going to be in, okay, can I beat this as fast as freaking possible because it does get uh, extraordinarily difficult uh, in, a, in, a, in a lot of ways in a lot of ways. So, it was loot all containers, and... No, I honestly, I, I've, I've already forgotten. Yeah, it's loot all containers, but we're not gonna make it in 25 freaking seconds with a rocket guy doing that bit of dirt. Uh, but I, I can definitely get, get rid of all the enemies. Um, I can definitely... Um, loot all the containers. Like, that is a thing I can do in this game. Just gotta be very careful about not getting hit. Uh, in a lot of respects, but there's just a lot of stuff here to get through. So I'm assuming the 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 point is that you eventually get the right amount of mods to make that happen uh, when you go back and replay stages. Like I'm sure it's not set up to, to be able to get done the first time you play through any given number of stages, because clearly I'm sitting here looking for containers, looking for guys to shoot. Uh, it is you know. Is not quite uh, where you would want it to be on that first couple of run-throughs, but you know, I think it plays well. I think it has that you know cool neon chrome look, which uh, I like neon chrome a whole lot. So uh, always, always happy to see a new game in that universe. 
and I think generally 10 tons makes really good uh, top-down overhead dual joystick shooter style games. So back through here to this crate, and there we go. I got a medal. I got a medal. Now I think, if I'm not mistaken, when I go over here and hit that red door with this key, it unlocks it permanently. So, whoa, no, oh, no, 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 I don't want to fight you. Um, I was not looking to fight the riot leader here. Uh, I was looking to leave, but you know what? If you want some, come get some. So, definitely unlocking doors uh, for future playthroughs uh, of these stages is, you know, a way to make that stuff happen even faster. That's two minutes, so 25 seconds uh, is some crazy, but, you know, I'm sure it's possible. Uh, tactical view. The game is top down and camera is pulled back a bit. Okay, that's an interesting bit of, like, you're literally changing how the game looks. Actually, I want to see that. Okay, yeah, it's definitely, uh, not as, alright, that's, this is definitely much more in, uh, the traditional 10 tons game, uh, layout. Is that you're way overhead. And perhaps, you know, some folks might, might like that better instead of being at an angle. Uh, cause this is very much like a Crimson Land type deal. So, kudos on having that as one of your options. That's actually really cool, and I did not expect that. This is Judge, uh, supposed to be hitting in mid-September on Steam on PC. I am your host, Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.